have you found that this is your experience that you've seen through some thinking about a situation about a circumstance about a relationship about anything about yourself you've seen that the thoughts aren't true and yet the feelings keep coming as though they are it's one of the most common experiences that people come to me with because when they've been in an exploration, often a psycho-spiritual exploration, that says, once you've seen the thoughts as untrue, the feelings will go, the feelings will dissipate as well, that the thoughts and the feelings are the same thing. So see through the thought and the feeling goes too. And sometimes that can happen when we genuinely, genuinely, genuinely in the moment see the entire untruth of that thought then the associated connected feeling goes to that can happen but what happens also is that we can logically see the untruth of the thinking we can even have had a moment of revelation with the thinking in a like oh oh my god of course that's not true and yet we find ourselves in the relationship, in the situation, in the circumstance, with the same feeling reaction happening. The thoughts might also be running and, and you know you don't believe the thoughts. It's like you can see they're there and you see they don't matter. You see that they aren't a problem and yet the feeling system is still responding. This really is one of the most common things that people come to me with because they know there's something more available and they don't know how to move forward with that. And that's why I see this enlightenment journey as a deepening and deepening and deepening. Because if you think about it, we had emotions, we had an emotional experience from day dot, from the minute we were born. We There was an emotional response when we were hungry when we wanted changing when we wanted a cuddle when we wanted to sleep <clears throat> emotions were just there innately then later came the capacity of thought and conceptualization and that then brought into into being this thought feeling relationship in truth there were emotions then we got older, we were told some of our emotions were wrong, and so we started to develop stickier feelings like guilt and shame and disappointment and fear. And then we developed the capacity for thinking, the capacity to narrate our experience. The inner critic began. The one that said, yeah, you shouldn't be like that. That's not okay. So it makes a lot of sense that when we move into a spiritual exploration, especially if it begins at the psycho-spiritual level, where thought is considered, or thinking, I should say, absolutely thinking, is considered the thing to sort out, then it looks as though that's the only thing that's needed. It looks as though, great, so if I can just sort my thinking out, then the rest of the stuff is taken care of. If I can get my thinking in order, then my feelings will sort themselves out, then my, but my emotions will, then my body will, then everything will be good. And it will all have stemmed from just seeing this thinking. And sometimes that is true. Sometimes we see the untruth of the thinking at such a profound level that the domino effect is experienced through all the layers. But sometimes it's not. Sometimes, given that this was the last piece in the puzzle, the psychological was the last piece in the puzzle, sometimes when we see through that, we see the untruth of it. But the feeling system doesn't know that. The emotional system doesn't know that. The physical system doesn't know that. They haven't yet got that memo. The love hasn't yet soaked deep enough into the system. And so, so it's so normal that if, if you've seen through thinking, if you've seen the thoughts run true, 
if you see that in the moment those thoughts are passing and they're not bothering you and yet the rest of your system is reacting as though there's fear and danger and in a way that you know isn't truly in alignment with who you are then that's where the opportunity is to go deeper go deeper into these layers bring love into these deeper layers of experience it's what they're asking for they're not a problem they are not a problem they are not wrong they've simply been ignored and not given attention covered over by a noisy thinking mind and now with the thinking cleared great you've cleared the path to be able to see the rest of the system so if that's your experience know that it's perfectly okay it's moving in absolutely the right direction indeed if you're only just beginning great start at that psychological level start with the thinking question the untruth of it to bring space to bring light to bring love to your whole system and if you'd like support with this the enlightenment event is exactly the journey of this 12 different experts bringing their unique modalities and approaches that shine light and love into your system at all these different levels journeying through psychological emotional physical spiritual and holistic and if you're not even sure where to start that's okay because we begin with make it visible so that you can see where the light wants to get in in your system all the details are below but do get in touch if you've got any questions if i can help with anything i would love to help much love take care